Today's reading is from 1 Corinthians 14, and we've just read through a chapter yesterday that was all about love um, and how you can have faith that move ma moves mountains, but if you have, if you don't have love, then you're nothing. And Paul dives a bit more into this idea of basically without love, our spiritual gifts and the things that we do even spiritually really are meaningless and worthless. He talks pretty directly in this chapter about the gifts of prophecy and of the gift of tongue. Um, things that are dealing with communicating to people and communicating God's message um, to people. So he, he talks about this idea and that if nobody knows what you're saying, then what good is it? He says though in verse 12, so with yourselves, since you are eager for spiritual gifts, strive to excel in them for building up the church. He's not saying that spiritual gifts are bad, um, but that we ought to be striving to use them to build up one another in the church, ultimately so that we can build up one another outside the church as well. Build up the church, edify those around you. Do what you do in love, and for the sake of love, not for the sake of being spiritual or proud or, or checking things off a checklist. Have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't communicate with someone? You didn't speak the same language. I have. Uh, I studied Spanish in college. I lived abroad. I learned the language of locals where I was living. I've definitely found myself in a situation where I was misunderstood or I just couldn't understand what the person was trying to say to me. And so I find it really interesting when Paul uses this analogy in 1 Corinthians 14. Um, he is saying, uh, so with yourselves, if in a tongue you utter speech that is not intelligible, how will anyone know what is being said? For you will be speaking into the air. There are doubtless many different kinds of sounds in the world and nothing is without sound. If then I do not know the meaning of the sound, I will be a foreigner to the speaker and the speaker a foreigner to me. So with yourselves, since you are eager for spiritual gifts, strive to excel in them for building up the church. So that's kind of looking at that passage a little bit more where he's saying like, are you, you know, can people understand what you're saying? Do people, you know, can, can we even tell people why um, you know we're doing the things that we're doing. So Paul really stresses the idea of edifying, of building up each other. So let that stand as a challenge to us today. Maybe I'm not using, you know, a spiritual gift of tongues or prophecy, but God has given me gifts. And God has given you gifts. He, he's given us all different gifts, as we've been reading in this chapter, being the body of Christ, all different parts of the body. We have different gifts. So let's be about using them to build up one, one another, to build up those around us, um, so that others might know who Jesus is and that others might be built up in their faith.